Sweet, indeed. Let's go to the Western Cape now, where Cape Town police say that detectives are working around the clock to find the killers of an ANC ward councillor at Wallace Dean in Cryfontaine. 44-year-old Leander Mbele was shot and killed after dropping off a family member in the area last night. His cousin was also killed in the incident. Vanessa Puna has been following the story. Family members and friends of ANC Ward Councillor Yuanda Mbele are in shock today following his brutal murder last night here in Wallace Dean. Police are investigating a case of double murder after Luanda and his cousin were gunned down in this very area. Now we understand that Mr Mbele was dropping off his cousin Pumlam Bandaba um, at her home last night when this incident occurred. And we speak to her now. Pumla, good afternoon to you. You are very distraught as a family today. Um, tell us what happened last night when Leanda dropped you off. The time Leander dropped or the time Leander came to drop off, so just come a few minutes inside in the house. And then the time is coming inside the, the door of the car, it was open, then said, Pumla, I'm not going to be take long, so can you give me a cool drink? And then I said, okay, Lilos must uh, take you, they must check for a cool drink for you. The time Lilos is checking for a cool drink, Luyanas is running to the car because the door was open. And then, then she's going to the radio to, to make the volume uh, low, up a little bit. And then after that, a few minutes, and then this guy just uh, come in, round of this bike he was standing here and then she's come straight the time Luanda says she's turned uh, around and then she's never gave chance and then she just shooting and then after she shoot uh, three bullets and then she come the cousin at, i don't know where maybe she's going to uh, she was this side and then she just come the time she's coming to the corner and then she's meet this guy she shot Luanda and then they also, these uh, guys shot the cousin, and then he, the cousin is tried to fight, and then she, she's fighting, and then the, the guy, and then, she, and then the guy was down, and then he, the cousin, and then I ran away to the house because I see this guy is gonna shoot also both of us, and then I ran quickly inside, and then I lock my door, and then no one comes. And then after I see the people is outside, and then I uh, open my door, and then I see there's a lot of people outside. And then Luanda, is, the cousin, is still lying here. Luanda is uh, already both no action to do. And then I try to phone the mother and don't, don't, the, the daughter of Luanda, the big one. I said she never believed because I, I was there. And then said uh, Luanda said, please make me my bed uh, right. I'm coming now. And then she never believed what I said. I said, try to phone the mother as soon as possible and the police. And then she tried to phone. And then the time I'm, a, I'm here, and then the people said, no, it was a, it was a white uh, BMW. But I never saw the BMW. But the people were standing here. She so said it was a white BMW. And then this guy, she was just, she never even ran. She just walked straight to the BM. Pumla, um, you as a family today are in deep mourning. Um, we understand that Leander was very involved with the community. Um, he had met with Transport Minister about the uh, transport issues in Cape Town. He was very involved with football. Um, as a person, as a cousin, um, how, how will you remember Luanda? Luanda was a very nice person from everyone. Even I never, even the time I'm standing here, I'm talking, I never believe Leander is dead. I never believe because everyone, when I'm going, if, if I go to Leander, even last of that last week I was in Cape Town, Leander invite me and, the, and their children to go to Cape Town to the choir. And then everyone said, Luanda, Mbele, and don't know whatever. She's just talking nice to the people for Luanda. I never even, she never even said to me, she was like, he's got a, like, uh, uh, meeting or something else for the people to fight. She never say that. I was so I never believe even now what is, is what is happening. Leander is gone. Thank you very much. That's uh, the cousin there of Leander Mbele, uh, who he dropped off last night when this shooting occurred. And of course, we know uh, that the ANC in the Western Cape has sent their deepest condolences to the family, uh, calling Luanda a, a product of the ANC a Youth League, also saying that he was a dedicated counsellor and they've urged the police to leave no stone unturned uh, in finding the perpetrators uh, of those who, who shot and killed Luanda and his cousin here in Wallace Dean last night.
All right, so that was our reporter, Vanessa Puno, reporting there from Wallace D near Cryfontein in the Western Cape. Right, we're going to take a pause for the weather and then coming up after that, find out what Colin has for us in terms of the SARS Commission of Inquiry.